Out on the far east side, South Shore International College Prep is teaching kids about the fashion industry and thanks to its one of a kind fashion runway program. Uh, here to tell us about the program, more of it is program manager Stanley Coleman and student Alon Garnett. So guys, thanks for joining me this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Really <laughs> cool to have you in here. So this is, uh, Stanley, help me out, this is the fifth year of the program. What are the students being taught? Um, they're being taught um, the business aspect, uh, teamwork concept, uh, relying upon one another. Um, our program also takes pride in um, being at the forefront of tackling uh, issues of global significance such as um, breast cancer awareness, um, the youth um, voter registration drive that Felicia was a part of uh, last year, um, the hashtag Me Too movement, the hashtag Time's Up movement, um, finding a cure for uh, lupus awareness wow. uh, through our wholesome medical program, uh, just to name a few of the many initiatives where we utilize our um, space and utilize our platform um, to promote um, positivity and to help galvanize the community in the South Shore. Doing a lot of great things, I love it. Alon, help me out with this one. The class is opening doors for students and you guys have been able to raise funds to give away 24 scholarships. Yes. So basically, we try to basically uh, sell tickets, make sure we all stick as a team together so we all have an opportunity to get a scholarship. And basically, we work as a family, so basically we all see each other as our brothers and sisters, so we make sure if we don't all get scholarships, we're going to work hard so that Ms. Coleman can provide us with scholarships. I love it. So the program, uh, people, real recognize real, what I like to say. And the program is so real, it's got support from some pretty impressive people. Tyler Perry has gotten more. Chicago Cubs manager Joe Madden and uh, manager Joe has been very active for the last three years. Can you tell us about that relationship as you see you guys with, uh, is that the first lady right there? Yeah, that's as well? the first lady. Wow. We're, we're, we're designing uh, shirts for first lady Michelle Obama. So. We had a whirlwind year just, you know, um, here in 2018. In the midst of sweeping CPS um, budget cuts, Joe Madden's participation over the past three years have been, has been huge. Mr. Uh, Madden has donated multiple college scholarship yeah. checks to our college-bound <laughs> seniors as a fashion creative expert. And our kids have always, always been impressed with Mr. Madden's swag going back to his Tampa Bay race. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. And, so. and, and we're so humbled. Um, for uh, Mr. Madden's um, participation because he's not obligated to no. help us out and we're on the south side when White Sox yeah. Uh, yeah, territory yeah, right? and you know obviously the Cubs being on the north side but um, he, to be he serious. a great thing and yeah. that's that's because you guys are doing great things so that's a coach who does it at a high level you got a coach of your own here do it at a high level <laughs> in the program that's also one of the students a lot can you share with me what your role exactly is basically um i basically have like a leadership role as to where that i teach everybody how to walk i teach everybody how to like posture themselves i teach them how to be comfortable on the runway i teach them how to like walk like if you're not uncomfortable with your heels i help you walk in your heels all that so basically i just help them work on becoming a better model and focusing on what they dream is and that's to be a model and that's my dream too so if we all have that mentality of us being models then that's that's how we're going to all make it together. Yeah, well, you definitely got the look and you definitely got the mindset. I love that. Thank so what have you learned so far with the program? I basically learned how to become a better person, especially being an African uh, woman. Um, I want to make sure that every young person out here can follow their dream and also can become a model too because sometimes in a model industry, you don't see as many as African American uh, women who model. So if I have, if I be a, mo a role model for everybody, then I could show that I could do it too, and you could do it too. So that's just like what I've learned. I love it. Well, Stanley, Alon, you're doing great things. You want something to last oh, time yeah, to yeah, say? Yes, I want to um, say thank you to some of the unsung heroes of the program, the greatest parents in the world um, here at South Shore International College Prep, and our building engineer custodian staff, uh, Brian, John, Shay. Taiwan, Irma, Pablo for always making sure that we have a proper space um, in the building to um, practice. So That's I want to definitely. So it's definitely a, a village Absolutely. to make sure you guys are doing what you're doing. Well, great stuff over here. We're not done yet. Felicia, you're kicking it over there with a the crew of your own, correct? I sure am.
sure am, Jordan. Thank you. I certainly appreciate it. I'm here with Deja Alexander and her mother, Shanika Campbell. You guys, thank you for being here. Thank so you. today you're rep representing 510 Beauty um, Beauty Bar, 510 Boutique and Beauty yeah. Bar, and you're actually a member in one of the programs. Yes. Wonderful, and you work at your mom's shop. You guys yes. are running it together. <laughs> yes. I love this, I love this because we love to support local businesses here on the jam, and of course, young people in the community that are doing positive things. So w tell us about this boutique. Well, 510 Boutique actually got started um, on my birthday. My birthday is May 10th, so I wanted to um, do something um, related to what Deja was doing. She's already into modeling, so fashion and modeling kind of goes hand in hand, so it was an easy thing to do. I love it, <laughs> I love it. And so Deja, how's it going for you? Because you actually serve as creative director in your mom's boutique. It's going very well. I like being a part of the boutique and, you know, helping her out with the latest trends because she's a fashion icon in my life and I want to be a fashion icon in you her You guys life. are so Aww. cute. I can't. <laughs> I'm really close to my mom, so, like, I love seeing you two together and you're looking alike, too, so that, does, <laughs> that helps for sure. But what is it like? Uh, you're also learning the business side of the program, too. I mean, you're getting mm -hmm. real-world experience. That's awesome. It's good because if I was to um, become a business owner, I would know who to go to and she has created a path for me to like be able to know the ins and outs of um, becoming a business owner. You are getting such <laughs> valuable experience that yes. a lot of adults wish that they had. Yes. So congratulations yes. on that and keep up all the good work. You Thank guys you. actually brought a couple of the looks with you. Yes. This yes. is some of the winter fashion. Tell yes. us about designing this. Did you design it, Deja? She did. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I picked a lot of the looks uh, myself, but I also run things by Deja first. Okay. Deja, she's in that at in crowd, the young group. Yes, so she I want to make sure I pick the right things for the younger audience. And who are our models here? Here. Are these audacious friends? Yes. <laughs> y'all have to have like a crew name. Like, what's the name of y'all crew? <laughs> All these friends, you guys are so they pretty. Are gorgeous. Beautiful very divas. pretty. So I see a lot of sparkles here. Yes, I'm happy to I see you got you young ladies look very cute, um, but you also look age appropriate, which is yes, really nice. That's into. important that's for me. Important. Yeah. So tell me about all these sparkles I'm looking at. <laughs> well, I wanted to, this first dress here, the mirror mirror look. I love this look. We have a lot of folks come in that want something unique. Especially for like a birthday or something. I mean, this dress speaks for itself. Um, the next dress, we have the velvet and the sequin. Perfect look for the holiday season and can transition right into the um, new year. Mm -hmm. And then on the end over there, puffer coats. Chicago puffer coats are in. So we have the colorful puffer coat down there. And one thing about this puffer coat, if you rub it up, it actually changes color. Nice. So color changes in. We also have the white um, puffer coat at the end. This look in the back center, oh my God, that dress is just hot. I just love it. I and love it. And down here, rumper. I love rumpers. It takes the guesswork out of dressing when you can't find that perfect top or bottom. Mm -hmm. The rumper is that one look. And look how she paired it with those boots. She did that herself. Yeah. That oh, look nice. is awesome. Yes, oh. yes for this side, ponytail. <laughs> I am living for it. You guys look amazing, and I'm so happy to see just young people in the community doing something awesome. Yes. Hold my hand. You go and play some girls. <laughs> Give me some Thank of this you. Let's send it over to Jordan. Jordan has a little bit more. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before I go, I couldn't let you guys go without seeing some of Joe Madden's shirts that he's involved with here. These fine ladies and guys over here kicking it are wearing some of Joe's shirts. These shirts are also helping to raise funds for scholarships. So we've got to look at all the looks. We have great people in the community doing great things, thanks to Stanley and the rest of the team. But this is pretty cool stuff. So cool. The Chicago Cubs manager is getting involved right there, too. So thank you guys all for coming in with your model pose. I love it. And I just want to remind you, 510 Boutique and Beauty Bar is located at 10240 South Halstead. So go to 510boutique.com for more of these looks all across the board, everybody.